Gabby and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to go through my pencil case, which is the small Hobonichi drawer pouch. This is actually going to be part one of like a three part series kind of thing <laughs> because I also have a large Hobonichi drawer pouch that I want to show you and then um, I want to do like a what's in my bag for when I go and journal out into like in the wild, like in a coffee shop or, or something, you know, or at work or whatever. So typically I take, you know, a couple things for my journaling and this is one of them. This is probably the main one that I take with me to work on days that I think will be slow or um, like if I'm going to go on a trip, I'll take this. Yeah, so you'll have a few more of these type of videos coming up, I, but let's go ahead and get started. So this is what I take with me when I want to journal on the go. I also just keep this out on my desk when I'm at home and journaling. It's really awesome. It's so slim. I'll zip this back up actually. As you can see here, it fits so much, but um, it's fairly slim. I have like the navy pinstriped option. I'll try to link it below if it's still available. I bought it on Amazon. All right, so I think we're gonna start with the left side. On the left side, I kind of keep my highlighters, pens, markers, um, rulers, things like that that, I, that I'll be using, so more like tools. First, I have a tweezer for um, my stickers. I have the Tombow like hard tip marker. This is my favorite, I've been using it for years. I have an Energel Klena in the point three. I also have a Micron um, in zero five. I use this for my stencils a lot. And these are just a couple of my liners that I keep with me um, that I have like duplicates of. So it's a purple um, like brush tip one, the neon pink brush tip one. So this is pink, this is violet, and then this is just like the regular chisel tip. And this one is... I don't know what this one is, it doesn't say. But, yeah, I use these a lot, so I keep them handy here. Next, um, in this back pocket, I, it's pretty deep. It goes all the way down. So I also keep um, this Traveler's Company stencil that I use all the time. You'll see that in my journal pages a lot. I want to get the numbers one. I just haven't bought it for some reason. I don't know. I like how the small size of the letters. And then I also have um, this small ruler that I bought on jet pens. Um, I like that it's clear so I can see. I use this occasionally, not super often, but it's good to have a ruler handy. In this like second pocket, which is like the medium one, um, I don't have too much right now. I have plans for the future of what I'm going to keep there, but I don't have them yet. Right now, I just have some little sticky notes that I use for my planner to like pre-plan. Um, I just cut them down to what I had left and just stick it in here and pull it out when I need it. In the future, what I'm hoping to keep here are the new Travelers Company um, sticker books that they're coming out. I think it's like April 13th. So I have this like sticker release paper book from them. Um, the b-sides and rarities one in the like the standard but i want to get the small ones that they're coming out with and keep one probably uh, just here with some of the stickers that i use um more often this one i don't use super often so it doesn't there's no need for me to keep it here or in my other pouches um, but yeah then down here, I keep um, the stencils that I'm using the most right now. I bought this from an Etsy shop called Do Not Microwave Craft, and I'm just reaching for these a little more than the other ones, so I keep that handy here. Um, I just really like the size. This is like, I would say about credit card size. Yeah, I have to clean them, but <laughs> yeah, 
these get used a lot. So I typically tuck the tweezers into the second pocket so that's not hanging out ready to poke me um, because that has happened a few times <laughs> before I put it in there. So now we'll go into the right side which is just like a zipper pouch. So it has some of my bigger items. Um, first I have some scissors. I got these on Amazon. They're really small um, but they're good for on the go obviously. And I like that they have like a cover, that way I'm not poking myself because they're very sharp. I also have um, just a glue stick, Elmer's glue stick. I bought this at Target, I think it was like a dollar for a two pack. I have this uh, Tombow uh, correction tape and I like how small it is. I don't use it super often. Um, but I like to have it handy because it does match really well with like the Tombow, or I'm sorry, the Hobonichi Cousin like paper. Um, so I like to have this in case, you know, I make a mistake. It comes in handy sometimes. All right. Um, I also, this is probably like my favorite thing in my pencil case, but I have these bobbins. I've talked about them on my Instagram. Um, Basically, I have a bobbin maker and transferred my washi tape from the rolls into these little bobbins. And then you can put these bobbins in these like bobbin like tape cutter things. So you put them in here and they're ready to cut so it's like easy breezy. Like there you go. <laughs> So I like having a variety. I actually, I feel like I may have a little too much washi tape in my pencil case for on the go journaling, but I like to have options. Um, so right now I have all of these in here and I actually do have more bobbins ready to go for more like um, journaling at home, but these are the ones I just keep handy for journaling on the go uh, or the ones that I like reach for more often um, to do just journaling at home with my pencil case. But I like having a variety. I think it's fun to add to my pages and I'm really trying this year to like use what I have. It's very helpful to have all of these handy and sometimes um, if I decide I'm not really feeling this green, I'll go in and change it with a different washi. So. And then down here, there, there's a couple of elastics that I don't really use that much. Right now I have a Muji 0.38 um, pen. I really like this pen and it's one of my, I would say, top five favorite pens. Um, so I like to have it here just in case I feel like writing with it. I also have this Tombow Mono Stick Plastic Eraser. I like having things like longer. Um, that way it fits like easier in the pencil case rather than having a lot of like chunky items like all these. But um, just an eraser for when I, whenever I use a pencil and need to erase something. And then I have the Tombow Monograph pencil in 0.5 and yeah, but that is it. It actually, it holds a lot. Like I feel like I could put more in there, but I just don't need more. I like having kind of just the bare minimum. Well, I wouldn't say this is bare minimum, but I like having some essentials for me while still having a little bit of variety for my journaling, but I also really like that these things like connect so it makes them easier to like have in here without creating a mess sometimes they do like come apart but it's not a big deal I mean they're still plenty big and I don't have that much stuff in here but I do like the the like the feature that allows these to like connect and form one So that's what it looks like when it's full, when it's closed. You see, it's pretty slim. I still have a pocket back here that I don't use that often. Sometimes, like if I print something um, to journal with at work, like with my thermal printer, I'll slip that here so it's you know ready to go and pull out. Um, I really love that like 
this does have all of my essentials plus some extra fun things to make my journal spreads cute <laughs> but i am obsessed with this i'm obsessed with this small hobonichi drawer pouch i've been wanting it for so long and i finally did it finally ordered it this month and i'm obsessed i bet that when amazon does they're like 50 percent off like hobonichi pouches i'll probably buy another one but that is it for this video if you haven't done so already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up or make sure you